Okay, so I'm out here in the orchard and uh, this is a lovely autumnal day. A bit blowy, so I hope there's not too much noise on the microphone. Um, and you can see I'm here with the young cow and uh, a little bit of maintenance today. You can see what, what's happened here. Look at this one, just having a scratch on this post. Um, the rails around this apple tree have been broken by the cattle um, and what they've done is they've been trying to get to the fruit on the on the trees there's not many left on this one um, there's a few you can see what they do is they always reach up eat the eat the branch eat the leaves off the lower branches and, and they can reach to about that height to get an apple um, if I give hmm that is nice Let's give an apple to a cow. Straight on it. So they love fruit. And, um, and that's why you need to fence these trees, really, because for the first 10 years or so, they're not very strong. And the, um, the cow will just get in them, rip the fruit off, also rip the branches down. But this one now is strong enough to be have the railings taken down, and that's my job today. I said you've been, you, they've broken the rails trying to get in on this one. Uh, the way I look at it is that the rails probably last 10 years. Okay, I'm having a look now. And that's probably about the length of time you need them to be around the tree. So, because um, after 10 years, the tree's big enough to look after itself. Um, and you can see there, it won't, the, that animal won't hurt it now, really. And they don't, they're not like horses, they won't bark that um, tree. They'll just nibble it around the bottom. So I've got my tools. I've got a hammer and my lovely crowbar and I'm just going to set up and pull these down. I think they'll end up as firewood actually. Right, I'm going to start on this one here. It shouldn't come out too bad. Quite rotten. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Ouch.
Nearly there. Well, you can see that I didn't actually really need to use the hammer. Isn't it typical? Now I've done the um, now I've done the job. The cattle aren't interested. Um, so I've got a few stakes that I can reuse. One like that. There's still some life left in that. But um, you look at other ones like this corner post. Completely rotted off. Um, and you can see there the rails pretty ripe there that one there snapped in half um, and as like I said that's really when you know that you need to take the rails down is when they start falling down so it's a pretty good indicator really that um, about the life of the rails is about the length of time the tree needs to be fenced so I'd say at least 10 years this one probably um, might be about 15 I'm not sure uh, so anyway I'm just going to put these on the loader and dump them on the wood pile Oh, so I'm walking up to get the tractor, but I thought I'd stop by this tree. Uh, this is when the rails came down earlier in the year, actually, so fence about the same time. Look at the apples on here. Beautiful. Look at that. I'm not sure what sort this is, but um, it's written down somewhere in the house. But what a lovely crop of apples. Some years are better than others for different varieties. This one has done really well, and they're really nice apples. So a little little bite hmm hmm oh that's lovely you can't really beat having an apple off your own tree so if you've got a little bit of land a bit of a garden or something I recommend putting a tree in your garden don't matter what sort there's just loads of different sorts you have eating apples cooking apples Maybe a plum tree, but what a cracking thing to have, and that fruit off your own tree. There we go, that didn't take long to get that load on there. And uh, you can see now I've got the tree completely unfenced. Um, so the cattle are grazing, you can actually see a sort of mark where it's been, but give it a year, that mark could go and you won't even know that there's been a fence there. Ones like this, the fencing's still okay on the, it. Um, still firm, so I'm not gonna bother taking that down. It's a lot easier to take it down when it is rotten. Oh no, there's a little owl pellet on there. If you didn't know what that was, that's a, probably from a small owl. You can just see inside it. 
bits of what he's been eating. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to put this on the wood pile for ready for burning. But uh, a few more fence around here. There's some younger ones over here, like that one over there. That was, that's not a particularly big tree. That need a few more years. That one there, the fencing on it can stay on. But when it rots out, I will put that one down as well because that doesn't really need fencing anymore. Um, so I'm just going to take these back now and uh, job done.